All right, in this video, we're going to start focusing on how to transform an RF design into a layout. So here I have an example of a test bench that I made to design a class A pit power amplifier. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to strip the schematic down to its constituent components. When we want to work on the layout, we can't use components that don't exist in a layout library, which means things like our voltage sources and net names. So I'm going to save a copy of this schematic. I'm going to call the copy this the top design. We're going to go in and open up our library manager to our top design. And in this design, we're going to get rid of everything that would not exist uh, in a real physical layout, like our ports. We don't need ports anymore. Uh, for the time being, I'm not going to focus on the input network. Now, you can leave the global uh, references to ground and VDD if you want, but in general, I like to call the supply nets in my design something different. And so I'm going to delete everything having to do with one of those supply names. All right, so now I'm going to add some pins into this design. And I'm going to label the nets appropriately. So uh, I use VSSA for my ground. So any node that goes to ground, I'm going to use that level or that label. Uh, and any label that goes to supply, I'm going to use uh, that label. All right, so there we go. Uh, our schematic is now ready uh, for us to do some layout on. Uh, but I find it difficult with RF layouts to try and throw everything into a single layout. And so I tend to work in a hierarchy. So I'm going to lay out the matching network separately from the transistors, and then I'm going to put those all together in a top level design. So I'm going to create a separate schematic for the matching network, and I'm going to lay that matching network out separately. And I'll do that in the next video.